What's poppin' guys? Welcome back to another episode of Fletcher the Fisherman. It's a good day. I just got back from out west. I was out there with some friends on a ski trip, went out to Jackson Hole, had a blast, and I came back to the most beautiful weather that I could ask for. It's March, it's springtime, it is spawn time, and it's time to get on these bass. And man, you know, what you're looking for this time of year is you're looking for consistent warm weather during the day and at night. So during the day, you know, I ideally like to see, you know, weather above 70 degrees, and at night I like to see weather above 50 degrees, and that is exactly what it's been for, you know, the last few days, which is just awesome to see. So there's a really good chance that these fish are gonna start moving up really soon if they're not already pushed up already. You know, there is a chance I see some fish on bed today. It's a possibility. But as far as what we're doing today, guys, we're going to fish a set of ponds that I think I fished once before on the channel but these are literally the ponds that I learned to bass fish on and you know it's pretty suiting that that is what we're doing today because you know I have some big announcements for this video some stuff I'm really excited to tell you all about and it's just kind of cool to see where I started and where I'm at now you know and it come all together like this you know it's it's kind of cool so I have some news to tell y'all but I want to let y'all know about that in a second I have about a 15 minute drive to the ponds and then you know I'm hoping we can get on some big fish today so I will catch y'all when we get there pulling up now here we go here's the parking spot I'm gonna walk down from here oh let's go get the rods oh yeah oh yeah this is what I'm talking about guys. It is about to go down. We're about to catch ourselves some bass. Let's see, this is a shallow section right here. I don't see anything at first glance. It's not super, oh, oh, there goes a bass right there. <laughs> They're pushed up, baby, let's go. Guys, I told y'all when we got here that I would tell y'all the big news. And the big news is that I have officially been sponsored by Luz and Strike King for rods, reels, and baits. And I cannot thank y'all enough for literally all the support y'all have given me, especially over the last year to go, you know, from something that I like to do for fun to a full-time gig and actually being able to work with the companies that I grew up using, as far as their products and stuff go, you know. I really have come full circle. This is where I learned to fish with the companies that I'm now sponsored with, you know. That is just crazy to think about. So thank y'all from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate all the support. And I wanna give back to y'all as much as possible, especially because I'll be getting a bunch of products and stuff. So I wanna do giveaways and things like that. So starting with this video, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway for a reel. I'm not sure which one yet. I will let you know when I announce the winner in a future video. But if you want a chance at winning a reel, make sure you drop a comment down below Below, letting me know what your favorite rod is your favorite reel is and what your favorite bait is I'm curious so just let me know down in the comments below but anyways guys the fishing is looking prime the weather is amazing so let's get to it you know I think I'm gonna get started with uh, you know a little jig got a little flipping jig right here this is a strike king bitsy flipping jig and this is a half ounce but we're gonna start in this little pocket back here you know the fish kind of just like to hang out and I'm gonna see if there's anything pushed up in here that is looking for you know just something to munch on gonna give them a nice dangle no luck on that first cast let me go ahead and sling it back here in this pocket. But by the way, guys, I'm gonna put a link for everything that I'm using in today's video in the descriptions, as far as rods, reels, baits, all that good stuff. So feel free to check it out if you want. No luck with the jig. Let's move over to a moving bait. This is a tungsten two tap, and hopefully this can get the job done. Get a little reaction bait. There's one. Finally got a fish. It feels like he's a decent one too. He's definitely got some size to him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm trying to be quiet. There's some golfers over here, but we finally got a fish on the board guys. And it is looking like a solid two something. <laughs> Let's go. That's a nice fat spawning bass. Well, not, they're not spawning yet, but they're moving up. They're definitely starting to move. 
but that is a nice chunky guy. You can tell he's been eating well. Look at that big old belly. Absolutely annihilated that two tap. That is a solid little fish to start the day. Let's keep it going. I'm pumped. <laughs> Check him out. I'm not gonna lie guys, I've been fishing for a minute before I finally got that bite. I've tried a few different things and these fish are just being, you know, they're being picky. These ponds are fished a lot. They've seen everything thrown at them. So, you know, it can be hard to get them to bite sometimes, but I'm glad I finally got a bite there on the lipless. It's a good sign to see for one to, you know, just come up and clobber that thing. Is that another fish? Oh my gosh, right here next to me. Let's go. <laughs> Follow that bait in. Oh, and this guy's got like some distinctive markings on him. Got a bunch of like black dots down the side. Check that out. Another fat, healthy fish on the two tap. Man, let's go. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I've been struggling here for a little bit. You know, I started out there, I fished around, I threw the jig a lot, I threw the slipless a lot, actually put it down because I didn't have any luck with it. And you know, I picked up the net rig, snapped off twice, and I picked this back up before, you know, trying to go over to the next pond and figured I'd try it just one more time. And sure enough, two back-to-back -back buttes, solid little bass. Let's keep it moving. Moving. This guy's got such cool little black markings on his side. That's awesome. There he goes. Well, guys, I didn't have any more luck fishing with this for a few more minutes, so I think it is time to move on to our next pond. We have a few ponds to hit today, and I want to spend at least a little time at all of them. So let's grab the rods and let's get moving. Rolling up on pond number two, gonna start with the lipless crankbait. This thing is producing as of now, so I don't see a reason to switch. How you doing? Doing good. Okay, so between 10 a.m. and 5 p.m., you can't fish on the, on the, on the property. Okay. Well guys, it looks like they changed the days that you're allowed to fish out here, so I had to come back another time. But we are about to spice it up and call an audible and head to another pond. So I will see y'all when we get there. We have arrived. Let's get on out of here. Let's grab the rod. Just gonna start with this one for now. It's all tangled back here to get this gracious. There we go. But we're just gonna hit this one little cove real quick and then we're gonna move around the pond. But I just wanna give this a shot first. First cast, baby, let's go. Be a nice little largey somewhere down this little line. I'm just gonna fan cast this thing around this cove a few times. See if I can't trigger something hanging out in here. Oh, by the way, guys, this is probably one of the craziest reels I've ever used. I can absolutely bomb crankbaits with this thing. And there's a fish. Let's go <laughs> right in the cove where he's supposed to be. Oh, goodness gracious, hammered it. And it's a nice size one, too. Oh, come on in here. Come on in here. Yeah, buddy. I think that might be our best one so far today. And we're gonna get him on a, a flip. Got him, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's definitely the best one so far. Gosh, the two tap is just going to work on these fish. That's exactly what I wanted to see. There's a big drop off out there where a lot of these fish spend their, you know, their winter months. And this is the closest flat to where these fish are hanging out. So it's just, you know, very natural for them to kind of transition up here as the weather gets warm because they don't have to move very far. And look at that, a big boy sitting right there in the middle of this cove. Oh, <laughs> I lost him. Uh, I was just gonna try to, you know, get a nice release there. But, you know, I fumbled the football, that's okay. But what I was trying to say before that fish interrupted me is this reel right here, the BB1 Pro is a freaking animal man i can zing these crankbaits you know i don't think i've ever fished with a bait caster that i can cast as far as this guy 
And I'm not just saying that just because I got sponsored. You know, uh, they gave me this, said that it, uh, you know, absolutely bombs crankbaits and they were not lying. Oh, there's one. Got him on the red lip list, switched it up. Produced another fish. <laughs> Let's go. Come on in. Doesn't feel nearly as big. Oh yeah, he's just a little guy. But that is fish number four. Oh, oh, quick release. Oh, 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 oh. We're gonna pin him down, pin him down. Got him. <laughs> he almost got away there. He uh, popped off right at the bank, but just a little squeaker. I'll take him. Let's go ahead and get him back in so he can clean himself off right here. But hey, look at that bot. Whew. There he goes. Well, I think it's time to move around the pond. Let's grab the gear and go. Made it over here. Let's get cracking. Oh gosh, line wrapped around the tip. <laughs> that could have been a lot worse than it was but let's zing this out there. See if we can't find some more over here in this cove. Should be similar. This cove has, you know, a much gradual entry uh, far as, you know, the deep water that's adjacent to it. So I'm not sure if they're gonna be pushed up in here or not, but you know, we're gonna give it a try. There's one. Got him. Up in this pocket. Let's go. Right where he's supposed to be. Feels like he's got some weight to him too. Definitely not super small. Oh yeah. <laughs> Baby. Let's go. Another freaking thick boy. Um, I gotta be careful. I don't have like super strong line on here. Should be able to get this guy up though. Let's go. Let's stink and go. Gonna need the pliers for this one, but let me go ahead and get this out of there. Absolutely crank this thing. All right, hold on, don't swallow it. There we go, got it out of there. Check that out. Another winter or pre-spawn piggy pushing probably about three pounds. You know what? Oh, you know, I didn't bring the scale with me down here. I was gonna weigh them, but uh, this one's really close to three. Let's let her go. Off in a flash. Well, I'm glad to see they're in this pocket as well. I was a little bit more worried about this one because this one isn't quite as protected from the wind and you know doesn't have nearly as much adjacent deep water, but it seems like they're up in here as well. Oh, yeah, <laughs> definitely does. That's the second one. Let's go. Oh, he's got some weight to him too. Oh, yeah, I think that's a better one. I think it's a better one. Oh, yeah, that's definitely a better one. That's definitely a better one. Big boy, big boy, big boy inhaled it. Oh my gosh, he clobbered it. He freaking clobbered it. Oh, come around there. Got him. <laughs> oh gosh, you gotta love it, man. You got to love it. Inhale that thing. Just absolutely annihilated that red trap. Gosh, it doesn't get much better than that. <laughs> Check that out. If they could just eat it like this every time, that would be nice. But that's when you know you're throwing the right bait when they do eat it like that. Another freaking chunk. You know, all these fish, besides that one smaller one in here, are really close to that, you know, like three pound range so far. Check her out, guys. She is thook. Whew, I can't beat that. You know, just coming back from an awesome ski trip, having perfect weather to come back to, and coming out, and your first day back on the water, just hammering a bunch of slabs. Can't complain, can't complain. Let's let her go. <sighs> yes, man. 
let's keep it going. Oh yes guys, I am amped up. But before I throw back in, I wanna go ahead and go over the color that I'm actually catching these guys on right now. As you can see, this is just like a natural crawl color. And earlier I was throwing like a natural shad color. The reason I switched was just to kinda of like mix it up. The rattles in that one are a little bit different. But in the spring guys, even if your lake or body water doesn't have crawfish, there's something about that red color that the fish just seem to key in on. They really like it. I'd say either throw like a natural red color, throw a natural shad color if the water's really clear. Both of those options will work pretty well in clear water. Or if the water is super dingy like chocolate milk, I like throwing a chartreuse. That is a great option as well, either that or a crawl color. Both of those have nice contrast in the darker water. But let me go ahead and grab my rod and let's jump right back into it. Is there any more back here? Two quick fish. Well, let's go. They could just be absolutely loaded in here. Oh, is that another one? Oh my gosh, it is. Oh my God, they're loaded. <laughs> they're loaded. Oh, that's a big one. It's an even bigger one. Let's go. That's a freaking tank. That's a tank. Oh my God, they just keep getting better. <laughs> Oh, they're all so fat. There are just so many up in here. I think that might be three casts in a row. <laughs> Got him. Had to lay down to grab that guy. Just didn't want to risk breaking the line. It's only, I think, a 12 pound test. Probably good enough to flip him, but you know, just want to be on the safe side. Not quite as big as I thought when I saw him in the water. He looked like he was like four and a half, but still a really solid fish. I think the last two have him beat by just a tad bit, but you know, I will take one this size all stinking day. <laughs> there she goes. What a day, guys. That was a ton of fun. Hopefully y'all enjoyed that. And if you did, make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you aren't already. But as always, best in his passion, peace.